All right, everyone, here we go with an energetic weather update. I'm going to shuffle for a pre-shuffle. I haven't even gotten to that yet. That's how disorganized I am. But I want to tell I thought because of the way the weekly reading, the way I felt the energy on the weekly reading, it was crazy weird. In fact, the way I felt that energy, I, I felt it for the week of sort of an energy where I thought that reading was like an hour and a half long. I thought it was going to be way longer than any other weekly reading I did because my perception, I have to swim in the energy to pull the readings. So I'm swimming in the energy and to me it felt like it was an hour and a half where it's usually like a 40 minute reading. That reading ended up at the end when I looked at it being no longer than any other fucking weekly reading I usually do. It was pretty much right down the middle, right? I mean, it's just the way it is. It's just that kind of energy. The energy of this week will make you feel like nothing's being accomplished, but actually there's a great deal happening. And I'm shuffling right now. I'm going to get the surface energy for us. I'm going to tell you it's an energetic weather update. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. But if you're here, you're here for a reason, right? And it's probably because you think it's a weird week. No, I, it's too early of the week if you're here right at the beginning. But you'll see. I, I think it, this, the energy of this week Give it to me, universe. Give me the surface energy. This reading is timeless. Keep in mind you're all moving at different speeds on your timeline, so it might affect you at different times. But just So just keep that in mind. But yeah, I've got a seven of wands just here when I'm sh talking about the week, shuffling about the week. i got a seven of wands. It's, a, it's an energy where you feel distant from things that might be happening. And there, yeah, it's crossed by the two of swords. We're looking at it together. I haven't seen it. It's crossed by the two of swords. So yeah, there's, it feels like you're swatting at crows and the crows are tied to you the whole time. It is a bit of that. It is a bit of, I feel like I want to do something. There's a sense of something new coming on the horizon in this week's energy. And then there's a void energy. There's a nothing energy, but nothing seems to be happening. Crickets chirping, like that. There is a lot of healing going on underneath the surface. I can feel it off that heart chakra there. And then, of course, there's an urge to move forward. There's new things happening with the fool. And underneath that is a hangman. It's another stopped energy. We have a go and then a stop. A go and then a stop. This hangman, very powerful card as well. Providing new perspective, providing a chance for the little light bulb to go off, ting. Maybe a little bit of that Mars and Taurus energy where it's about going after your heart's desire but doing it right. That kind of thing. Underneath this stopped energy is the Three of Pentacles. New things are happening and can happen. But this week <laughs> will give you a fucking headache. It absolutely will. But it's pointing you on a path toward Ten Pentacles. Most, a lot of big decisions are made this week. Uh, there's a daunting task of some kind. Maybe it's just emotional. It doesn't matter. It's going to vary for everyone. But there's a daunting task ahead, task ahead that seems like it's, it's against you. It seems like you might not be able to accomplish it. You're wrong. The energy is there for it. It's just one of those energies where, exactly as I described, I felt like the weekly reading was an hour and a half long doing it. It felt like I wasn't doing anything or we, we, we were never going to finish. You know, that's sort of what I was thinking as I was doing it. At one point, I said, I don't want to apologize for having an, an extra long reading, but, and it wasn't an extra long reading. You know, it's just, we did accomplish it. We did get through it. The energy was on my side, and it wasn't any longer than any other weekly reading, as it turns out. That said, this week may feel like that to you. It may feel like you're up against a hill that you can't conquer, but the truth is, you can. Like I said in that reading, the energy is on your side. You have an advantage. And that's what that Seven of Wands at the top of the pre-shuffle that I just shuffled for was there for. And that's why I shuffled for the pre-shuffle. I knew I was going to get something because this energy is so on the surface. I knew I was going to get something cool. So I wanted to shuffle for it before I hit, after I hit the record button rather than the usual before. Just because I didn't think I'd have to shuffle too long. And what the hell? <laughs> I wanted it. I just wanted to see it in real time with you guys. All right, three cards and a bottom card on this week's energy. What do you want to tell my viewers, universe? What do you want to tell them about this week's energy? I'll clarify anything that needs clarifying. Don't worry. But I think the pre-shuffle pretty much sums it up uh, as far as the general idea. It, it's a combination of factors. It, it's the way the core energy is right now. The core energy cycles themselves are blending together a certain way and it's how all the other surrounding energies are pulling on it. You know, everything that's involved, the new moon in Gemini, the 
Mercury and Gemini. I mean, it's just Jupiter and Gemini is playing a big role. Jupiter is doing its shit, let me tell you. Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck, the environmental energy around this week. You might be, well, uh, I was going to say you might be a little emotional, but uh, the uh, King of Wands. I think people on the DM side are going to be emotional. I think the DF side is going to be in a good mood. That's what I think. I think your mood will actually be surprisingly good this week. In spite of the sluggish nature of it and things feeling at a distance. I honestly do. It's crazy energy. This card, I'm pulling a reading on you. That's why you came out here. All right? I don't know. It's just what it is. Um, it'll be crossing the center card I pull. Five of Cups. Knight of Cups. And the Ten of Wands. Um... I think this is a week where you're trying to resolve some disappointments. Uh, that's what I think. I think that's why it feels like it's against you. You know, and resol resolving disappointments. What can that mean? Well, that could mean a wide number of things. Resolving how you feel about past loves. Resolving about how you feel about a job you're working or yourself. Also, it can be, this same energy can apply if, if you're, you're trying to, to quit a bad habit and you have a lot of failures. You've failed as you've tried along the way. It's about resolving how you feel about those failures so that you can move forward and try again because it, we are very much in that still in that try again energy you will succeed i think you're resolving old th things that have lingered far too long with this ten of wands okay it's a week where we're dealing with that kind of stuff all right so it's going to play out differently for what it is for all of you. I'm not here to give you a big lecture on all that kind of stuff, but that's the theme of the week. Those are the things that are going to feel like it's against you. Like, oh, of all the weeks, I don't think I can succeed this week. You're actually wrong. This, you, you have the energetic advantage this week. All right? Keep that in mind. All right, I'm going to tell you. Let's, let's talk about the Ten of Wands. That's the one that needs clarifying. Let's do it with the witches. All right, let's go. Ten of Wands, why is it here? I mean, if you want to sum up the week, here you go. You, you're, you're in a good mood, right? Three of Cups, celebration energy. You're trying to go forward with your passionate plans, and it feels like the week is kicking you in the pants every step of the way. Pressure, a dis uh, disappointment, or, you know, a loss of some kind, failure of some kind, right? Feels, feels that It feels that way. But actually, you're accomplishing quite a bit, believe it or not. Even failures this week, in this week's energy, can see some sign of success, have a success energy contained within them. Failure always does. There's no such thing as failure. It's just an opportunity to learn. But this week in particular, it's more than just an opportunity to learn. The fa in other words, the failure may lead to something that you wouldn't have gone to had you succeeded, and that's something that it goes to through the failure, right? Or your perceived, you know, a perceived failure uh, that's something that it goes to ends up leading to a bigger success than you would have had in the first place. You know, it's one of those kinds of energies. It's a very serendipitous energy. It is. And the, any energy like that can fuck with your head as far as feeling like it's, a, it's, an up, it's an uphill battle. But I will tell you as well, based on what I've picked up on that weekly read I did, your perception of time this week may be a little off. And it's going to vary for all. It can't say you might feel something is slower than it is. Someone else might feel something is faster than it is. It can go either way. Your, in general, your perception of time because of the way the energy is will feel off. Okay? So keep that in mind. All right? Keep that in mind. You know, and obviously, if you think you're having a stroke, go see a doctor. But no, you're probably not. It's probably just the way the energy is flowing this week. All right? Ten of Wands, tell me about it. Tell me about it. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, uh, the King of Swords. You, you're really looking. Whatever this in, this week's theme is, it's really dealing with things that have plagued you, that have lingered. Like I said, far too long. You're putting the sword of truth through them. Okay. Also, the the truth about these things is being put before you because the King of Swords, the King of Truth, is in the environmental energy. Okay. What's on top? The Four of Swords. A lot of healing. He, again, success, healing. You may not like it on the onset, but it, there is a lot of healing here. Why is the four, four, in this in the Four of Swords and Ten of Wands? By the way, these two energies together, it says exactly what I said about your perception of time as well. It can throw it off, sort of like while you're sleeping, your perception of time is different, right? You might sleep for eight hours, but to you, it feels like just a few minutes, right? 
that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. These two energies usually are you usually indicate that. And I'm pulling on the surrounding energies around us for the week. I'm not making a prediction about a soulmate coming in or about anything like that. Just the energy, the energetic air that we'll all be swimming in during this week. And again, you're all moving at different speeds on your timelines. It might affect you next week. But the, the energy will stick to you this week and come with you and affect you next week because of where you're at on your timeline. Why is the Four of Swords here? Ten Swords. Wow. That's, that's wild. We're putting Ten Swords. A lot of healing. Why? Why, why? why is there a lot of healing? Why is the Four of Swords here? Because we're putting Ten Swords in this, in this burden. The truth about this is being put before you. It might be through communication with others. Could be something you figure out in your head or could be something you overhear. Could be again. I, I already told you this is a very serendipitous energy. So when this type of energy is around, weird shit happens. I called it a weird energy on the on the weekly reading. It is. It's a weird energy, and weird energy. Your perception of time gets thrown off, and weird shit happens. You run into somebody you haven't seen in a while, and they say something to you that triggers something. Again, that truth that helps you look at this, that helps you put ten swords in it, which then brings healing. I don't know. We're doing a lot of work this week. What the kids might call shadow work, but it's not really in the shadows. It's out in the open. We're doing a lot of out in the open work on disappointments, regrets, and things that have held us down. Things that have been heavy on our mind for far too long. Okay, But it, it all happens in a way that might, while it's happening, because if you look at these cards here, especially the Ten of Swords, might, while it's happening, feel like a failure. It's not. Every failure this week is actually probably better than you just succeeding right off. All right, I'm just going to phrase it that way and let you take it how you want to take it. I mean, that's pretty much what we got there. I want to, just for fun, I'm going to pull on the uh, Knight of Cups. I, I don't know why. Uh, it's really, it's not about an incoming Knight of Cups in this particular, in the context of this reading. The Knight of Cups is you trying to do shit, right? Passionately going for your heart's desire. Only this week kind of makes it seem like you're not getting anywhere. But I just want to pull on this energy, all right? Uh, it, it's it's the base energy for the week. I mean, you're starting the week with good intentions, I imagine. You know, uh, it is what it is. Look, the energetic weather updates, they're just here so you can make best use of the energy around you. All right, it's like a supercharged horoscope for the week. I'm not your astrologer, and this ain't a horoscope. It's straight up energy reading, but it does involve how some of the astrology that's going on is pulling on the core energy. I focus mainly on the core energy with these, the after effect. So I'm not focused on any astrological alignment. The astrological alignments that are existing right now are pulling on the core energy that we live in. So I have to account for that. I'm giving you the core energy and the after effect of that. I'm, I'm allowing for it. I'm accounting for, for that. So trust me, this will be one of those weeks you better off, and I've said it in a couple of recent readings, I think, your best bet this week is just be cool. And know that you have the advantage. You have the upper hand. All right, energetically speaking. All right, uh, Knight of Cups. What do you want to tell me about this? Anything? You got anything to say? <laughs> yeah, it's what I said. This is you guys passionately going after your heart's desires. Good intentions this week, right? It's crossed by the Five of Swords, thwarted every step of the way. The environmental energy will feel like it's thwarting you every step of the way. It's not. That's false. It is not thwarting you every step of the way. All right, It's just going to seem like it because, again, the, your perception of time might be warped. Your perception of what, what's happening within the energy is warped. Everything is warped. It's a weird, warped energy. All right, all right. Uh, What's on top just for fun? <laughs> the emperor. Mm. The emperor tries to control things. Mm. Make sure you know that you can't. Okay? Don't try to be the emperor here and control things. You're only going to get any. Just go with the flow of the energy, please. Just go with the flow of it, right? Here, look, I didn't know this was the next card. It's the Ten of Wands. As soon as I threw the emperor, I read the energy first, then I throw the cards. I said, it helps you. It gives you impact so that you listen to my words. I'm trying to help you. This is weird fucking energy, all right? And it'll, it'll fuck you up if you try to control it. 
If you I've got my, my best intentions, I'm going after my heart's desire this week. I heard what Steve said on his Mars and Taurus reading. Yep, thwarted. It'll feel like you're being thwarted every step of the way. You're not. And I threw an emperor on top here. Why is the Knight of Cups here? The emperor, you, this is a control aspect. You might try to control this. You might try to redirect things. Don't. Just allow, humor the universe, right? Just allow things to happen as they're happening and go with the flow. Because if you try to control it, it will control you. Like this big pile of sticks on this poor guy's back right here. It's too difficult to control that you can't. Just flow with it. Things might seem like they're not going great. They actually probably are. If you take the long view a little bit. There's a huge butterfly effect that's going on here. There's a, there's a ripple effect in play for sure. All right? That's your reading. I've given you all the warnings about this week's energy. I can. And remember, I'm not a fucking time lord this week. Might be next week for some of you, but it's around. All right? The energy is here. We're all going to be kind of swimming in it. All right. That's your reading. Good luck.